Yeah, I know. Pretty thunderous evening, right? I know. Welcome. Welcome to your appointment. I am Nafa Sky. What's your name? How do you spell that? Sweet. Perfect. Um, how are you doing? Good? Okay. Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you called. Uh, I hope it wasn't too much trouble coming here and finding this in this crazy rainy evening. But I also feel like rain is a positive thing to happen every once in a while to sort of clear everything out and just cleanse everything. Maybe in more of a energy sense than practical sense, but um, you don't need to worry. These are rotating 15-minute appointments and we're fully booked today. So you'll be on your way in no time and back at your um, program. Let me just make this uh, a valid appointment on the tablet that you showed. Perfect. And I'm also going to take my notebook now. This is my um, client's lockbook that I like to have a, a paper form of because I'm uh, not that much of a digital person or tech savvy as some would say so I prefer to also have a paper backup of everything. Um, right, and you said your name is here. Alright, so uh, I do need you to repeat your name for me please. And your age. Good. And your full birthday. Okay. Oh, I love your sign. It's supposed to be um, really compatible with mine. Like we could really be good friends. <laughs> yes. Okay. And do you know your height? Okay. And your home address? 51. Are you currently employed? Yeah. Okay. And what is it that you do? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's really interesting. Do you feel like that is stressing you out or that is adding a significant amount of pressure into your life? Okay. Okay, and how would you say that that has changed? Like your sleep pattern or your uh, positive behaviors? How much they've taken a negative turn? Okay. Around, yeah, around that time. Okay, and is it, um, and is it then that you started noticing your skin breaking out as well? Mm-hmm, okay. Yeah. So this is a yes and this is a yes and we'll establish this later. Okay. I'm going to get started now, okay? And I'm just going to check a few things. This is going to be a very straightforward examination. I'm just going to have a good look at your skin. Um, and I'm gonna try some serums and some activating formulas to check out the skin type or any um, hidden discoloration and based on that judgment and that assessment I am then going to prescribe you a cream or whatever it is that I believe that you need and I will check back with you in about two to three weeks time okay and then we can um reassess everything we talked about today and then there's going to be a follow-up on your treatment okay all right so um, i'm using disposable gloves for these appointments because like i said there are uh, 15 minutes back to back and i always want to make sure that my clients have the best care 
And there's no chance for um, cross contamination of anything. All right. I know skin is a very delicate thing, and I take it very seriously. Okay, let's have a look at you, yeah? So I'm going to put your hair back with this um, headband. I'm just going to put it back like this. Good. I'm only going to be using the gloves um, while I'm touching your face, which I will be doing to check for any hardness or anything that might not be there visibly uh, with just the eyes, all right? Just relax. I'm not going to apply any extreme pressure, but if at any point you feel uncomfortable, just let me know and I'll stop. I'll slow down, okay? Just look at me here, straight in my nose, and relax. All right, let's have a look here. Mm -hmm. Okay, cheeks look fine. I do see some redness, of course. Is that what you talked about? Do you think, do you think that is a stress flare up or is it a massive change in your diet? Mm hmm. Okay. Uh huh. some pressure here in the sinus points. If you feel any pain, let me know, okay? Okay. Feels fine? Okay. Okay. Please turn your head for me that way. Okay, I'll go like that. Please turn your head in that way. Okay. At a first glance, uh, you seem to have a normal skin type in the sense that I don't see anything that could be a bacteria or a microbe or, you know, anything that could be caused by completely external factors. Um, at the same time, I do see a combination of scaliness, dryness, and redness, which I want to further investigate to see the cause for that, okay? So I'm gonna take these off now. How did that feel? It was fine, right? I know, perfectly fine. Okay. So now we'll be doing a little brushing of the dry areas to see uh, in what way they would be coming off, okay? Again, very minimally, non-invasive, and of course, I'm not going to go against anything that's really in there and could cause you any discomfort. I'm just going to use this little brush and I'm just going to go over these little areas, okay? You don't need to worry at all, so... All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see. And if you look up, can I see this scaly area, please? They do seem to be coming off, which again, it doesn't signify an incredibly big problem for me. So that is as well a positive. I want to be using a little um, spot treatment in the sense that I will be using this safe to use chemical compound in which I will be putting in different areas of your face that I think there is a big issue and see if there's any discolorations and any changes that might be appearing, okay? okay? Again, I don't want you to worry. Do you need me to stop saying that? I feel like you should 
begin to trust me okay I know it's really pouring out there but this is winter so okay look at me here it might feel a little bit cold but that's the only thing that you will feel okay all right so I don't see any major discoloration in the sense that would signify again that there is a virus or there's like a skin condition that is more serious and has gone undiagnosed but they are the skin is reacting to this in a way that it tells me that it is um, very irritated and sensitive at the moment and we definitely need to treat that and we'll look at the root causes um, the second time that we're gonna meet okay also around the nose a little bit and towards the chin mm. okay I'm glad to have seen that oh yeah is that usually where that is being triggered for you around these areas yes mm -hmm. and when it happens does it happen um, acute like overnight um, or right away or it takes a few days and it just gets worse and worse it usually happens fast and then it stays a little bit okay I understand okay all right so I'm going to use my flashlight it might seem a little bit uncomfortable for your eyes so you can close them if you want or you can keep them open I'm not gonna hit you directly in the eyes with the flashlight it is a really big one it is adjustable because this is the biggest one this would cover your entire face and we don't want that I'm gonna make it as small as possible and I'm just going to go in and um, check your skin this is really good light and it will really bring out anything that I haven't seen yet okay so keep looking straight at my nose to make this as comfortable for you as possible and I'm just gonna okay mm -hmm. I also see the redness that we talked about and the scaliness yeah there's definite sensitivity I do think that stress is the main cause at the moment for you I'm sorry to say okay all right mm -hmm. yeah all right I can totally see it um, it is definitely stress is a really big factor I would like to write down a few things if that is okay with you uh, some of the key points that I just mentioned because I would really like us to get back to them the next time we see each other so this stress and acute and lasting and it is yeah based on this evidence all right so now to close off with you i'm going to be applying a little um cream on spot against spot treatment but this time is not to show something it's to start soothing something I will put some spots on your face um, of a cream that is extremely um, hydrating and it has some prebiotics inside and then on the rest of the part I'm gonna put some oil uh, for the redness which has its own uh, abilities and then I'm gonna spray your entire face with a normal hydrating and nourishing mist and we'll talk about the next uh, course of action to take okay so this is the little cream that I'm going to be using 
again, I will be taking my little Q-tip. It's going to storm out there. It's really intense. Okay, keep looking at me straight here. And All right. And look at me here. I'm going to put this here. Here, where air dry. Okay. Perfect. Now a little bit more. I know it smells really good. I'm really thankful for the companies that create the intuitive medicine that can also treat something and as well make us feel good about the process that we're going through if that makes sense okay and some here okay does it feel fine yeah as expected okay through I think <laughs> okay perfect okay and now for this little oil application for the redness I'm just going to put some some drops here Okay, and sit back for me for one little second, please. Close your eyes. Yes, please, close them. That was the most refreshing part, right? It must have felt good. I, I feel good just thinking what it's like. How do you feel? Do you feel okay? Do you have any questions for me before we move on to the conclusion of this appointment? Mm-hmm. That's really kind of you. That's really kind. But no, you don't need to worry. No, I'm gonna tell you what I think is going on, okay? So I'm going to note down that uh, on a first evaluation basis, I think this is mainly caused um, by stress factors, uh, meaning it's psychosomatic, but in what sense? Not that it's not real, but the way your anxiety or the stress in your life manifests for you is returning inwards and is creating an internal imbalance that is showing up that way for you uh, through your skin being disrupted and upset, okay? So, based on what you've told me, of course, and because of the fact that you said you never had this before and I can see it's not something uh, viral or something of that concern. So, um, I would say it's stress as well as too, there was a change in the environment. Because of the work change, it can mean that, you know, the air is different or that the filters that they use are not clean or they haven't been clean and, or they haven't been updated. So I would say that there is a good percent that this is um, 
an external cause as well. And number three, what I would really like to look into is food. Um, in no way do I support food restricting or anything like that, but I would like to make out a little um, week by week program with you. Um, it's called like an elimination diet and it's done to see um, for no other reason than to see if by eliminating a group of foods things could get better in the sense of gut health and skin health because you could be celiac or you could have a lactose intolerance that you're not aware of or you could have developed or you could be just not taking well on a certain group of foods. I had a girl the other day that she couldn't digest peppers. A whole mess when she ate peppers. She has to go to the hospital sometimes to get her stomach pumped. So that is never a good thing. So I would also would like to make a program with you um, to check about what kind of foods might be causing this because the redness usually is a sign that again the skin is reacting to something that is going on internally but eating happens internally anyway okay all right so i'm writing these things down for us to uh, discuss and keep an eye on our next appointment is going to be in three weeks okay and you can have this cream you can get it and you can use it morning and I, i'm just gonna write it down for you i don't have crazy doctor letters you'll be able to read them and again serum and serum it's 50 ml and it's uh gut health You can get this at the girl at the reception and she'll write it in a computer form for you and you can take it to your local pharmacy and they can give you the, um, the items that you need. I'm really glad you came today. I hope you enjoyed this appointment. I'm sorry to have to rush you off, but as I said, these are rotating appointments and I'm looking forward to sitting down with you on a one-on-one -on -one basis, maybe more relaxed on our follow-up appointment. And in the meantime, if you have any questions, you can email me um, and we can discuss your progress, of course, in these three weeks and see how that is going for you, okay? Okay, um, uh, Elise will see you outside. Thank you so much for coming. Have a good night.